Blood drips down onto your nose. You look up to find a gory corpse being puppeteered by a vine. Once the vine notices you, it lashes out, gripping your body and dragging you up with its menagerie of corpses. Hello and welcome to Hunting Monsters. Today we're going to be talking about one of my personal favorite monsters, the Assassin's Vine. Now, the Assassin Vine is one of those things that probably introduces the grappling mechanic of your game to your players. It's pretty low uh, CR, CR3. I usually use it as a boss for, like, first-level characters. I trap them in a room because the Assassin Vine is pretty slow and have them face it off. Now, let's talk about the different abilities that the Assassin Vine has. Because it's very slow, it's an ambush predator. That means it has the camouflage ability. Camouflage isn't with plants, so it's good stuff. It can also cast Entangle as a druid spell. It's great at grapple checks because that is how it kills you and it traps you to make you its fertilizer. Um, it's immune to electricity. Uh, because actually most plants are immune to electricity. It's not like kind of like a electricity trait. Uh, it resists. This is what gets everyone every time. Fire and frost. Cold and fire damage. Deal less damage to it. Everyone played Pokemon, so everyone's all like, I'm going to use fire to kill this plant. Not this one. At level 3... You will be lucky to do one or two points of damage with your fire spell. Alright, so there's its abilities. Let's keep that in mind as we're choosing the different uh, things that this creature could drop. So let's get our 2x4 chart ready. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Alright. We always start off with nothing and roll twice. Once again, as a reminder, uh, not every creature is going to be in the best shape for you to get a lot from. Sometimes they'll be in great shape and you'll be able to get more from it. So that's why we kind of randomize it here. Now, if we look at the plant, uh, the assassin vine is made up of one main vine and then has several branches off of that. So I'm going to put the branches as number five because I generally like to have a part of the creature as that little five. Even though Assassin Vine may have other things that you'll find on it, such as bones. Uh, bones from its past meal. These can be from uh, humanoid or animal. Uh, so humanoid bones can be used as components for evil spells. Uh, I usually put like, oh, uh, using a humanoid bone as part of an evil spell gives it the evil descriptor, um, but it also will give you some sort of boon. Um, perhaps maybe like if you use it as part of a fireball, uh, humanoids of that specific type um, gain vulnerability to it. Like, so this could be a spell component. Because it is probably something very taboo, it's going to be a little bit more expensive. So we'll say it is um, 100 GP. Animal bones, less so. They can be used for jewelry. So maybe uh, a die 10 GP. Uh, animal bones are used for jewelry. We want a little bit more variability on that. Uh, I forgot to mention what the branches are used for. Uh, so the branches are going to be kind of worth not as much as the main vine. Uh, since I'm talking about the main vine, let's put the main vine over here at 7. And that's going to be like the largest component. It's where like the nervous system of the plant is. It's like the spine. So let's roll it out at 2 die 10 times 25 GP 500 gold pieces for like a full intact vine uh, maybe that's too much maybe it's not uh, but it has a lot of properties it's immune to electricity 
resist fire and frost so it's probably very useful in creating energy resistant armor because it has all those resistances and plants are usually a great building material uh, we get a buy making most things with plants baskets uh, housing um, so yeah we probably want that it'd be a great idea to use the fibers of this plant to wrap stuff up so let's go over to number four which i have not covered yet but seeds uh, we often don't think about how animals reproduce but the assassin vine if it doesn't catch something it probably left some seeds on you um, and that's going to be allow you to deposit it somewhere else um, so those seeds probably may be valuable to wizards who want to protect their stuff um, so we'll run them at how about a GP for each one GP each and how many seeds you can get let's say two die six because you still have to grow and cultivate them and lastly um, gear adventuring gear uh, sometimes you can find adventuring gear from its last meal the same way you can find bones and this one you can't just have to go along with it um, I forgot to put a price here let's put two die six times ten all right so what could this type of uh, creature be what if it is so plants used for various binding material we could do rope we could use the branches as rope but I'm thinking we do something a little bit more interesting How about we create something that has to do with bracers, the tendril bracers. So these bracers, I feel like, are going to be good for grappling. Gave plus four to grapple checks. And let you cast entangle once per day. And you have like these cool vines on your wrist um, I think it would be a really cool the tendril bracers plus four grapple checks so entangles the real easy one it's just gonna be one times one times as a command word so 1800 it's not used activated you have to use it as a spell like ability you have to use it as an item it's not like you punch them and then it automatically entangles so it's gonna be 1800 and then times one five, so that's gonna be 360 gold pieces. Uh, the grapple check, now that's gonna be really hard. There's not really a, something that tells us how much that is. We could consider it a skill check. Uh, we could consider it a skill check. Uh, we could consider it an enhancement bonus to attack rolls. Um, we can consider it a feat. So let's kind of go through and think about those. So, if it was a feat, it'd run about 2,000 gold pieces, which is fine. Uh, plus four to grapple checks, that's pretty fine. Um, if it was a skill check, it would be uh, 1,600, which is also pretty close. Um, it is kind of in a very specific circumstance, so I think I'm gonna roll with the skill check. Uh, oh, no, it wouldn't be, yeah, it would, because it would be four squared times 100, which is 1,000. 600 so let's do that 1600 so it's going to cost us 1960 GP for our tendril bracers that give us plus four on grapple checks and lets us cast entangle per day once per day all right so I hope you enjoyed me going over what you might find um, amongst the vines of an assassin vine um, if you liked it, please like and comment and subscribe. Uh, if you want to see me talk about a different monster, please leave it down in the comments down below. I do take requests and I will be happy to investigate that monster and see what it could possibly drop for you and your players. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.